AMOF is a Dutch research institute focusing on fundamental physics, in particular on the physics of complex and functional matter. Uh, and in our group, the Soft Robotic Matter Group, we don't focus on chemistry, but instead we focus on designing materials with a particular uh, microstructure. In nature, for instance, you have bamboo, you have wood, and all these materials have a structure that you cannot see with the naked eye. We try to do the same thing. We try to come up with new designs to develop a new kind of uh, materials that we do not yet see today. The way we typically work is by making computer models, by doing uh, math, and by making uh, prototypes from, for instance, paper and, and double-sided tape. But of course our goal is to make uh, future materials and to start implementing these materials. And that is why it is so important to bring this science to, to our society. Together with designers and architects from Studio Overvelde and the Interactive Architecture Lab from the Bartlett School of Architecture, we've uh, started to build an installation called the Edge of Chaos. Our installation contains three parts. On one side we have the an sort of an inert cloud that represents the materials that we have today. These are rigid materials like stone or concrete effectively. In between we have what is really called the edge of chaos. And so this edge of chaos is where sort of behavior and movement start to uh, occur. Uh, and when this edge of chaos reaches its peak of, of behavior, um, the inside there's a, a tree of life and this tree starts to bloom and move. Everything you see from the inner cloud to the edge of chaos and the tree is built from only one puzzle piece. So depending on how you put them together, some of them won't be able to move while others will be able to deform. The very nice thing is that we made this installation interactive and there are a few sensors in there that respond to them, but not everything responds immediately. A little bit like an artificial intelligence, all the geometries respond to each other and so a pattern starts to form, but this pattern is always a bit different, it's not structured. It looks really nice with all the white vakjes and that they give a color. If you go along, you can all these things move. Niet echt een golf, maar het lijkt er ook weer wel een beetje op. Ik vind het wel interessant. Je moet ook uh, geduld hebben voor als je, als je zo doet en nog niet aangaat. We really have to dive into this installation and, and start to learn what's going on by, by experimenting and by playing. The same holds actually for our research group. Really seeing our materials in such an environment um, inspires us uh, and, and helps us again in, in seeing new directions for our future research. <laughs>